हे हाय एंड वेलकम बैक नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो व्हिच इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू लाइब्रेरी इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस सो नाउ लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट यू विल लर्न इन दिस वीडियो सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस द प्रोसेस टू डाउनलोड द रेडीली अवेलेबल लाइब्रेरीज फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल वेबसाइट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल दोज डाउनलोडेड लाइब्रेरीज इन द ईगल सॉफ्टवेयर so first of all i will show you how to install the library that we downloaded from the snapida website okay and then i will show you how to install the library that we downloaded from the component search engine website so the process to install the libraries from these two websites are actually similar it's just that there are actually some extra process that we need to follow in case of component search engine um, uh, website so what are those process so i will show you that okay so now let's start with this particular point which is procedure to install library from snapida website so these are the libraries that we downloaded from the snapida website and component search engine website so this library was downloaded from the snapida website and this library was downloaded from the component search engine website okay so first of all i think uh, i must be having this particular library already installed in the eagle software so what i will do i will first of all rename this particular library so that uh, we can distinguish between uh, the already installed library and newly installed library so i will write here dash snap eda so now we will actually able to identify that uh, this is basically the library from snap eda and after that this one is actually the library from component search engine now snap eda actually provides the library in this format and component search engine provides the library in this format now in this case what do you have to do you have to first of all extract this zip file okay and once the file is extracted later you have to go inside this folder at mega328p-au and after that you can see here the library is actually available for different uh, pcb design softwares okay for like a uh, 3d then allegro ultium so these are actually the names of different softwares okay and we are actually using the eagle software so we are just interested in this particular library so what i will do i will just copy this one i will copy this one and after that i will go to this location and after that here i will paste uh, i will paste that library okay and then you can actually delete rest of the stuff so i will delete this uh, version.bin license.txt then i will delete this zip file then after that i will delete this uh, folder also so i can delete all these stuffs now all right so we have the library from snap eda and we have the library from uh, from component search engine so i will just rename this one uh, as pc_ic_atmega328p-au dash uh, component search engine okay and and in the end i will write component search engine so i will just uh, write the abbreviation component search engine okay so now we can actually easily distinguish which library belongs to which um, you know uh, which website okay so now i will show you how to install these libraries in the eagle software now the first method is what you can do just copy these two libraries and after that you have to go to this location uh, uh, libraries and you can see already i have lot of libraries from uh, for different components so i told you that when we discuss the control panel option at that time uh, we saw that the default location for the libraries is basically this pc c user system documents eagle and then libraries so whenever you have to install a specific library or a new uh, new library then you just have to paste that particular library uh, in this location okay and automatically that library will actually reflect in the add parts option of this eagle software now let me paste that uh, the copied library here so these are the two libraries that we have uh, pasted here so i will just refresh and uh, after that uh, where are they yeah uh, so these are the two libraries so we have pasted these two libraries at uh, this particular location now what you have to do you have to check this add parts option and let's check whether those libraries are actually available in the add parts option or not okay so i will go to uh, alphabetically these all libraries are actually arranged so i will go to p uh, p character and we will check that library there so pc_ic_atmega328p so right now that particular ic or those libraries are actually not available here 
So in this case, what you can do, the first option is you have to restart the uh, Eagle software. So that's basically the first option. And once you restart the Eagle software, automatically that particular IC will actually, you know, those libraries will actually appear here. And another option is this is actually the systematic process to install, you know, uh, to install the libraries in the Eagle software. So you have to go to this option, which is library. And after that, you have to click on uh, click on open library manager. OK, and you can see here there are actually three different tabs in design, in use and available. So in design tab means all the components that you will use here, uh, the libraries for all those components you will be able to see uh, in this particular tab. OK, and after that in use means uh, all the libraries which are actually already there inside the Eagle software, all those libraries you will be see in this particular tab. OK, so here you will be able to see all the libraries which are actually present in the Eagle software. And then after that, whenever you have to import the new library in the Eagle software, at that time you have to select this tab, which is available tab. And after that, you have to browse uh, and you have to navigate to the location where from where you want to install, uh, you know, from where you want to import that particular library. OK, so we have these two libraries, uh, PC underscore IC underscore at mega 328p dash AU dash CSE and snap ADA. So I'm just going to select these two libraries and in order to select the multiple libraries, uh, you just have to, you know, use the control button and that way you have to you can actually select the multiple libraries. OK, so I will select the, I have selected these two libraries and after that I will click on open. So it will take a little time and then those two libraries will be available here. So just wait for a moment. All right. So in this process, you have to be a little bit patient. So now you can see uh, both the libraries are actually available here now and I will select both the libraries and after that I will click on use. Okay. So uh, the it's loading now. All right. So those libraries are actually now installed in the Eagle software. And if I go to in use tab, uh, I will just uh, expand this part. And if you see here, uh, you will find that particular library now. Uh, so PC underscore IC underscore um, at mega 328p CSE component search engine and snap ID. OK, so that's how basically the procedure is to import a new library in the Eagle software. OK, now if I go to add parts, and uh, you can see this is that library from component search engine. So I will select this one. I will click on OK. And now we are able to place that particular component or symbol on the uh, on the schematic editor. After that, I will click on escape. And after that, uh, let's select the uh, snap ADS library. And after that, I will click on OK. So these are the two different symbols for the same component at mega 328p. So this is how basically the symbol look like from the component search engine website. And this is how basically the symbol look like from the at mega 32, uh, sorry, snap ID website. Okay. And if I click on this option and if I generate the board file for this, then you can see, uh, the, um, footprint for these two symbols are actually available here. Okay. So I will just split the screen and I will just click on show on both the side and you can see, uh, this is basically the symbol and this is the footprint for this symbol then uh, this is the footprint for this symbol. OK, so that's how basically you need to install the uh, library in the Eagle software. And I hope that this entire procedure is now crystal clear to you. OK, all right. So that's what I wanted to tell in this video. I hope that every single thing that we discussed is now clear to you. And if you still have any kind of doubt, then definitely you can reach to me and I will help you with that. OK, now in next video, I will show you how to modify the symbol and the footprint of newly downloaded library or already existing library. OK. All right. So I will see you in the next video now, which is about introduction to library modification process. OK. So I will see you in the next video now.